the best uh, cameraman. No, that wasn't what I was hired to do, but I'm trying the best I can for you guys. Our diamond two. Running it on the light side. As you can see, the actual is 150 inches a minute. The profile is Demi Diamond 2. Air load. I'll get up there one day. It's only 65 or 63. So, again, the tools don't require a whole lot of amps to run, they're just that good. Diamond three. Done. Diamond three load. Sixty three with no spindle wear. Kind of caught it breaking the spindle. Electric break on the spindle. So. Now position four. Diamond four, nice and quiet that is. It's still chugging along at 100 inches a minute. Here you see percent 100, actual 100, 5,000 RPMs. That's Demi Diamond four. And let's look at our load. It span up at 63, now we're at 64, so the absorption, or for these machines, its load is absolutely nothing. Here we have our little gems of some polish wheels. 
this is our secret here. This is what defines our tools, is the ability to polish on the machine like no other. And how fast are we polishing for rubber? As you can see, 100% feed, 100% spindle rate, 50 inches a minute, 2400 RPMs. Very little absorption or load on the spindle. Typically our tools polish best at 3 and 4% absorption. Um, 4 being a little high, but uh, on like parts and uh, some Denver machines, it's, it's typically 3% absorption. That's where you're going to find your best polish at. And it always varies on the shape, depending on what shape you have. You may have some more uh, or less absorption, depending on whether it's a T-profile or if it's a uh, an OG. So while this is polishing, we're going to walk around and actually take a look at some samples that already come off the machine. Right here, sitting on the table, waiting to go. Uh, cameras might be hard to tell. I don't see uh, always a light color. There it is. There she's gleaming. There we go. There's some shine. My shadow is making it a little hard to see this. That's straight off the machine. As I'm moving the camera, you can kind of see how that shine is just blinging off of that stone. Let's walk over here to some other pieces we've done. As you can see, this isn't a small shop. There's a lot of granite leaving here. A frame one, A frame two, A frame three, A frame four, A frame five and six. There is a lot of granite here, all waiting to be installed. These are all jobs that go tomorrow. So this is some volume stuff we're doing here. But as you can see here, looking at the edges, it's not rocket science, guys. It's just good tools. Good tools, smart calibration, smart programming. This is what sets the big guys apart from the little guys. Look at that shine. This is no, as I'm moving the camera, you can see the shine. 